Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I am as excited as I have ever been. Now, I'm standing here with one of the most powerful men of God in the body of Christ today. He serves as my chief of staff. He is an apostle in the Lord's church. He is a district superintendent, and he is the celebrated pastor of Spartanburg Discipleship Center, home of the promised land, Church of God in Christ, Superintendent Tommy Eugene Quick. I've known him for all of my 44 years of serving Jesus Christ. We are brothers in the Lord, serving in the Lord's church, and we've just come out of our day sessions during our sixth holy convocation. We're excited about what has happened today. We're excited about what's going to happen tomorrow night. And and uh, tonight, as well as tomorrow, last night, our governor, our lieutenant governor, Mark Robinson, blessed us in a mighty way. And God moved by his yes, spirit. And man of God, I'm, I'm excited about you joining me today. Uh, listen, this man is anointed of God. And we've been there for each other. We've prayed together. We shout together. Yes, we've cried together. I've called him with tear dimmed eyes and said, man of God, pray for me. And I've seen him praying God work miracles. And the Lord have knitted our hearts together. Yes, Preacher, how you doing? Man? I'm doing fantastic. Bishop, God bless you. As you yes, know, sir. What a pleasure. What a pleasure to be here today. And I share your excitement. Because of the longevity of our relationship and how I've seen God move in your life, sir, yes, sir. in such a marvelous way to elevate you and what a blessing you become to the body mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to labor with you here yes, in sir. NC Third, and I am excited about what God is doing in this season yes, sir. after we've come through the pandemic and all yeah. of that yes, to see God revisit us here and what a mighty mm -hmm. move of God we've had these last two days. And I want you to know that our bishop along with myself of course because that's why we're knit together because we have one heart amen. one mind amen we are addressing the issues yes. that are confronting the family and the church amen. and our society amen. today as a child a lot of courses I took bishop yes sir I had no interest because I could not find any application for the information that they were teaching me mm. after I left school. Mm. I wasn't interested in physics because I wasn't going to the moon. I wasn't interested in many things. <laughs> but what I love about what we do here yes, sir. is applicable. Hallelujah. What we do, our worship, the word that we receive, the oh, workshops yes. that we have, Every individual knows where to apply that knowledge, Glory. apply that understanding mm. to make life richer Amen. for themselves and their families and to promote God's glory Hallelujah. in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you can see, this, this man of God is filled with the knowledge of God and the things that God is doing. We just came out of our day session today in our holy convocation and we had a men's session. And of course, today is Women's Day all day long. And one of our in-house evangelist, evangelist Keisha White, she preached with the, the with the power of God. And tonight, Mother Beverly DeJanae is going to deliver the word of God. She's our supervisor, and we're excited about coming back. And uh, 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 Chief of Staff, you're going to speak to our uh, the, the candidates. Who are, who are about to be ordained. ordained. Yes, sir. Share a little bit about what's going on. In just a few moments, yes, we're looking at eight individuals that have answered the call to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, if they're going to do it in NC Third and the Church of God in Christ, they must be approved, examined, Amen. and found to be faithful to the Lord, mm -hmm. and also equipped with the word of the Lord and God's Amen. spirit mm -hmm. in order to be a successful mm -hmm. in what they do. And so, mm -hmm. we're as chairman of the ordination committee, we're going to be examining yes, sir. these eight gentlemen today and we look forward to a bishop as we continue to explode the ranks yes, of sir. men and women of God that are prepared and credentialed and submitted That's and ready right. 
to preach God's word. We're trying to reproduce ourselves. That's right. Men who love Jesus and men who want to serve. And of course, my friends, tomorrow uh, will be the official day and yours truly will be delivering the word of the Lord on tomorrow evening. We're excited about it. And as we bring this to a close, you're going to hear more about this. I want to throw something out at you. Uh, and, and, and Chief of Staff didn't know I was going to bring this up, but I want to throw something out because I want it to be anchored in your spirit. Listen to this. See Fad. Christian families against destructive decisions. See Fad. This man of God, God have given him this vision. I'm proud to be a board member and a part of it. And we are fighting back. We've determined Satan is not going to have our families. No, sir. Not no, at sir. all. Not at all. Our mission is to influence the building and sustaining mm. of strong families and strong generational Heritages. Yes, sir. That is a weakness within our community. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. people have walked away from the principle of God that is able to form and function in family as God would have us mm. to do so that we can be successful. Our children can be successful and we can walk in the spirit yes, of God sir. and receive the promises and blessings that God has pronounced on the family. We're moving to <laughs> curtail the, the generation of the family. And God has given us a plan. And Bishop. God is working it. We're working it. It's going to come to pass. And God said 50,000 families. Hey, glory. 50,000 families glory. are going to be healed, ah. are going to be strengthened, My God. be rebuilt. And, and not only that, but those young men and women who have never committed to a lifelong relationship are going to be able to do it under the advisement of the word of God in the spirit of the Lord. The future's bright. Hallelujah. Well, we're out of time. Meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, which is the headquarters for North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction right here, 3300 Idlewood Village Drive in the city of Raleigh, North Carolina. And you want to be here tomorrow. The day sessions are going to be great. Superintendent Wilbur Nichols is going to be preaching our day session and also pastors out there. We're going to have a special presentation by Superintendent William H. Cooper II on pastoral support. Pastors, you need to be supported. God's hand is on you. You are the true uh, first responders and I'm for pastors being supported. And on tomorrow night in our official service, I'm going to deliver the word of the Lord that God has given me. So thanks, and we'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Chief of Staff, thank you for joining me, my, my friend. My pleasure. Thank you for the privilege. I love you, sir. I love you as well. God, God bless. God bless.